Parallel and perpendicular lines. How do we know when two lines are going to be parallel versus when they're going to be perpendicular or when they're neither, when they're not parallel or perpendicular? Well, the important thing to remember is that parallel lines, and if you remember from geometry, these little arrows indicate that they are parallel, they're going to always have the same slope. So parallel lines have the same slope. Now, they're not exactly the same line. So they're going to have the same slope, but they're going to have different y-intercepts. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. What does that mean? That means that if one slope is one half, the other slope has to be flipped and the sign has to change. So it's going to be negative 2 over 1, which is just negative 2. So if this is not the case, if you don't have slopes that are negative reciprocals and your slopes are not exactly the same, then the lines are going to cross, but they're not going to be perpendicular. Directions. Determine without graphing whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. This is actually very easy. Once we get the y by itself, if the slope is going to be exactly the same for both lines and the y-intercepts are different, we know automatically that these two lines are going to be parallel. If, however, the two slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, then that means that the lines will be perpendicular. What's good about question number one is that we already have the y equals by itself in the second equation. So from here, I can tell my slope is 3 over 4 and my y-intercept is negative 12. So that's easy because the second equation has the y by itself already. But in the first equation, we're going to have to go ahead and figure that out by ourselves. So we're going to have to take the equation and first we have to rewrite it so that we do get the y by itself. That means let's go ahead and add 3x to both sides. When we add 3x to both sides, I get 4y equals 3x plus 7. Divide both sides by 4, so I get y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 7 fourths. My slope is 3 over 4, and the y-intercept is 7 over 4. So when I go to compare these, I see that the first slope is 3 over 4, the second slope is 3 over 4. They're exactly the same. The y-intercepts are different, which means these are actually two different lines. And now I know that these lines are parallel. Again, determine without graphing whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. In the first one, we have x minus 3 equals 0. I've done plenty of videos that I'm going to go ahead and link in the description below where I talk to you about vertical and horizontal lines. Because I see x minus 3 equals 0 and there's absolutely no y, so this is a vertical line right now at x is equal to 3. In the second equation, I have 3y plus 6 is equal to 3. There's no x at all which tells me that this one is a horizontal line. And if I wanted to, I could solve for y. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. I get 3y equals negative 3. And if I divide by 3 to both sides, I get y is equal to negative 1. So these are my two equations, x equals 3, y equals negative 1. I have one of them is a vertical line. I know it says to do it without graphing, but I just want you to see and one is a horizontal line, these two lines are going to intersect to form a right angle. Therefore, these two lines are going to be perpendicular. And I didn't necessarily graph it. I just kind of wanted to show you what a vertical and horizontal line look like when they cross. So even ignoring the graph, we can tell right away that because the first one has an X only, it's going to be a vertical line. The second one has a y only, it's going to be a horizontal line, and a vertical and horizontal line, when they intersect, they form a right angle. So I know this one is going to be perpendicular. Let's go ahead and try question number three. Unlike the other two, I have to take both of these equations and get them so that the y is by itself, so it's in slope-intercept form. 
Let's start with 5y minus 6 equals 7x. Let's add 6 to both sides because our goal is to get the y by itself. So I have 5y equals 7x plus 6. Divide the entire equation by 5. I get y is equal to 7 fifths x plus 6 over 5. So that's my first equation. My second equation is 4x minus 2y is equal to 9. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's get the y by itself. So I subtracted from 4x from both sides. Negative 2y equals negative 4x plus 9. Divide everything by negative 2. So I get y is equal to negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2x minus 9 over 2 or 4 and a half. It doesn't matter which way you write it. What we're trying to determine are the slopes right here. Are they exactly the same? No. So are they parallel? No. In order for two lines to be parallel, they have to have exactly the same slope. Are these negative reciprocals of each other? Absolutely not. Therefore, they are not perpendicular, so these two lines are neither. Yes, they're going to intersect, but no, they're not forming a 90 degree angle when they cross. Another thing we do know about perpendicular lines when we talk about the two of them being negative reciprocals, is that if I multiply the first slope times the second slope, the answer has to give me negative one. So that's another way that you can tell that in this particular case, if I take seven over five and I multiply it by two, this is gonna give me 14 over five, which does not equal negative one. So they are definitely not perpendicular. Hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.